Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on the trail effect in Cyberlake Power Director 11 Ultimate. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you're going to need a tripod when you do this because if you're going to film this, you want to have everything still except for the individual that's going across the screen. In order to get a great trail effect, you need to make sure that your camera is stable. If you want to do it with a moving camera, you can. Just be a little bit more uh, difficult to do the effect. I'm going to show you how to do it with a clip of a camera that was on a tripod. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to click on the timeline area above the track. And I'm going to stretch out my timeline. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to be a little bit more precise we'll be able to see the frames a little bit easier for each individual element and if I need to step forward or step back frames by using these buttons then I can I'm going to, go to the beginning of this clip and I'm gonna click on play I'm let it go forward to a position where I want to start the trail effect I think that's pretty good right there matter of fact I'm going to move back a few frames I think that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the clip here. And I'm going to take a photo. Take a snapshot. The reason why I'm doing this, I'm just going to click OK. Let it go to the default location. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm splitting the clip. Because I want to know exactly where I need to put that photo image. When I'm done manipulating the photo image. So by splitting the clip, I'm able to slide that photo right into the exact position so that when the individual goes across the screen, that's exactly where the freeze will take place for that element of the trail effect. So I'm going to click play again. And I'm going to step back with a few frames to get it to a position I like. I like it there, so I'm going to split the clip again. So that I know where to put the image and I'm going to take another snapshot of that image that's going to fit perfectly into that position. I'm going to click play again. Let's step back a few frames here. I'm going to split the clip again. Take another snapshot. Click OK. And then I think I'll do one more for good measure. Because this guy's doing some Kafuera Karate and I want to get the full experience in my trail effect. So I'm going to split my clip here. I'm going to take another snapshot. Click OK. Now, the beauty of this is so these snapshots that I just took, well, they're all right here already. Beautiful. One of the things I noticed here is that, uh, If I grab this and I bring it down, I want to show you a little something. I got the images, so I'm good to go with that. And I know exactly where it goes. The issue is now, that if I were to play this, because this image is it includes the background, it includes everything. If I was to play this, then you're actually going to just see a freeze of that image. So the video would play up to a point, but then all you would see is... A frozen image of a guy doing a backflip. We don't want that. I need to get the background out of this picture. You can do that with programs like Inkscape, Paint.net, uh, Photoshop, or Photoshop Elements. I'm going to use Photoshop Elements. I'm going to show you a few different ways to do it. If you don't like it, well, then you can watch a different video, okay? If you don't like what I'm doing, watch something else. I hate you. Right here I am in Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Open. I want to go to the location on my computer where Cyberlink saves the uh, images by default. So I'm going to go to Libraries. Documents. Cyberlink. Power Director. 11. And here are my snapshots. So I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to call snapshot and then two in parentheses and I'm going to open it. 
There are a few different ways I can get rid of the background. First way is with Magic Extractor. I can just go to Image and go to Magic Extractor. There's a foreground tool and then a background tool. Foreground tool it has red dots. You just click wherever you want to keep or on whatever you want to keep as part of the image foreground. And I'm just going to do it real quick. I'm not going to show you like how to do it perfectly. Just going to show you a quick example of what it would look like if you did it. And then you click on the background tool and then those are blue dots. So wherever you got blue is where this bad boy is going to actually get removed from your image. This one's like really all a lot of dark stuff so it's going to be kind of hard to get it perfect. If you got like an image with a lot of different colors and stuff it'll be a lot easier. You can click preview to see how it looks. And if you like it, keep it. If you don't, you can click more stuff. This is all right by me. There's some stuff missing up here, like his hand, as I can tell. Yeah. And I can bring it back by just putting some red over there, clicking preview again. And then I can see his hand a little bit better. And like I said, I'm not trying to get it perfect, so why am I doing all of this? Well, I just want you to know how it's done, okay? I like you, and I'm trying to help you out. You're my friends. I think you're very awesome. Alright, so that's as good as I'm doing right now. Just click OK. And then as you can see, all of this behind here becomes transparent. This checkerboard means it's going to be transparent. So you'll be able to see video behind all of this. And it'll just look like this guy froze right there in that position in your video. Because you'll see the video, the movement, the guy will keep moving where all of this checkerboard is. Pretty damn cool. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to show you the other way to do it. The other way is by using a quick selection tool and using uh, creating a layer. So here you got the background. This is your whole background, all of this. But I want to make it into a layer. If I double click on this little lock sign, it's going to ask me to name the layer. I'm just going to click OK and name it be Layer 0. I don't care. I'm going to click on the quick selection tool. It's on the plus sign. So as I start to go around, you'll see the marching ants. Whatever is inside these marching ants is going to be deleted by me. If I make a mistake like I get his arms over here, I just click on the negative one. And I bring the marching ants back around the other side of his arm so that I know I'm keeping that part. Then I click on the plus side and I can keep going. Alright, so I'm going to keep going around this guy's hair and everything. Make a mistake, once again, you just click on the minus sign and you bring it back to where you want it to be. Pretty cool stuff. Make a mistake like that, just click the negative sign again and go inside on the image and bring out whatever you want to keep. It's pretty cool. Get rid of that. And that's pretty good. I'm going to keep it like that. Now all I need to do is click on the delete key on your keyboard. And once again, you got all this checkerboard around here, which is the part that's going to be removed. So I'll just do file. I'll do save as. And you can do this with the magic extractor one too. Change this from a Photoshop PSD to a PNG image, which will keep the transparency of the background. And click save. And click OK. I'm done with Photoshop, so I'm back in Cyberlink. I'm going to import the image that I just created. Let's see if 
Yeah. We'll go back in the Cyberlink folder because I'm pretty sure that's where I saved it. Yes, there it is. So I'm gonna click that one. Click open. And here it is. So I can drag it down into position. And you can tell if I click on it from here that it's still just a black background here. It's just this image. So that when I go ahead and I play it, and I move the scrubber across, all you're going to see is the individual doing the flip. You'll see that the individual snapshot freezes, and you're good to go. That's it. We're done. The trail effect in Cyberlink Power Director 11 Ultimate. You know what I'm going to ask you to do, so don't act like you don't. Because I do it every time. Deal with it. Alright. You freaking deal with it. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug it. Comments. I love comments. I love comments like a fat kid loves cake. So leave them for me. You leave me a comment. I will get back with you. Leave me a question. I'll answer it for you. If I don't have the answer. I will point you in the right direction. To get your question answered. And last. But definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.